This guy got a VAT ban, right? So we can't see his profile, we can't see his inventory because he made it all private. But he linked me his inventory on CSGO float. Is this real, Envy? Are these actually his skins in his inventory? That's now VAC banned. Yeah, oh my god. For real, for real. Okay, gentlemen, you're in for a wild ride. This is why you should not cheat, okay? If you have skins. <laughs> This clip was brought to you by Skins Monkey. Trade your skins on Skins Monkey to change up your loadout because you get a 35% deposit bonus if you use code Anomaly. You also get up to $5 free for your first trade. So use the link in the description to start trading now because it's really easy for you to get new skins if you don't like your old ones. Just look how quick that trade was. And thank you once again, Skins Monkey, for paying for the clips channel editors. So these first ones aren't that crazy. You know, Float is obviously insane, but Butterfly Ruby 0 0.0001. This, even without the Float, is like... $15,000 or something. With the float, it's probably closer to 20. M4 Neo Noir with 4 LDLC holo. This one, ugh, I don't even know how much it would be worth. Oh my god. Cortex with 4 Hellraiser's holo. This is probably a one of one in the world. I, I would be surprised if it's not. This is also just thousands of thousands of dollars on this USP. Each of these sticker, last time I had one, they were $8,000 each or $9,000 each. They might be a little bit more now, just to put into perspective how expensive they are. Stat track AK Vulcan with four Dignitas holo. Each of these Dignitas unapplied used to be $16,000, $17,000. Now, I think they're probably even more. M9 Sapphire, Flip Emerald, M9 Lore with insane float, and float adds a lot of value on lore knives. Butterfly Sapphire with this float, easily 20k. Bayonet Ruby, triple zero. Bayonet Sapphire, triple zero. Like, what the fuck? M4 Hot Rod, 4x I buy power holo. Mecha Industries, 4x I buy power holo. Blood Sport, with four reason holo cheating with million dollar inventory the thing is even now on stream i won't have enough time to go through all of these skins you see but this is easily over a million dollars this is probably over two million dollars too much value and too many calculations needed for all of these like look this is an ak case hardened 661 with 4x titan holo that i randomly found in his inventory this one recently sold wasn't it close to three hundred thousand dollars for this skin alone and this is a 0 0.09 so this might might even be one of the better floats available. And he got VAC banned. That blows my mind. Yeah, if you have literally multiple mansions in your inventory, why would you cheat? Wait, does anyone have backstory on this account? Oh, it is him! Isn't it him? The skin renting guy, QKSS, I remember him. Wasn't he the guy who rented out his account on a Chinese website? Someone rented it from him, cheated on his account, and then he got banned. Isn't that the story? Yes, it is. Bro, I need to get a hobby or something, man. I know know way too much about skin and skin history and shit. I don't know every detail, okay? So I'm going to extremely simplify it for you. This is some Chinese, like, obviously mega millionaire, right? Who had his inventory with these insanely rare collectible skins, many millions of dollars, and there was a Chinese site that you could basically list your account and someone could rent it from you. I think that idea is so stupid, you wouldn't even believe. So someone rented this guy's inventory and cheated on it. So now, he got banned because in Valve's eyes, you know, it was his account that cheated. So yeah, it's a justified ban. If I remember correctly, this I'm not completely sure of. Guy who rented his account to cheat on, he barely even paid a lot at all. It was like not even a few hundred euros that he made from renting out his inventory like that. And so it makes no sense. Like risk versus reward, it just doesn't make sense. Four reasons here on a whiteout. Four reasons here, three titan, four titan, four titan, four reason, four I by power, three I by power, four I by power, four titan, like, it's so many millions, and easily one of the bigger inventories in all of CSGO, easily one of the top inventories. Now, it's banned. It makes no sense. It's all his skins. Yeah, it's his skins, and he rented out his inventory. So if you get back banned, you can't sell the skins, not even move them. No. Many of these items are unique, like, there's only one of them. That's a huge rip. It is indeed. I would do anything to just get an interview with this guy, and just see, like, what was his thought process? Why did he rent out his account? And how did he feel when he got banned? Like, I would have so many questions for this guy. Insane. Absolutely insane.